let us take a look at variables in python and also try to understand the meaning of dynamically typed and statically typed in simple words variables are basically reserved memory locations to store some values so variables are nothing but reserved memory locations to store some values let us try declaring a variable in python but before that if we want to declare a variable in other programming languages such as java or c sharp it is mandatory to also mention the data type as well so let me just try to show what i am trying to say by writing a code or declaring a variable in in, in a java comply is a java compiler so i'll open up an online java compiler let me open up the first one so there's some default code in here which is system dot out uh, dot print line so i will do one thing i will try to declare a variable so if you want to declare a variable in java you have to write string i'm declaring a string variable with the name as uh, as message and the value as maybe hello world and a semicolon so in the print statement i will print the message so i hope you understood what i'm trying to say it's basically the it's important it's mandatory to mention the type of the variable while declaring the variable name so it is mandatory to mention the variable type as well thus this programming languages are statically typed but python is dynamically typed which means that it is not mandatory to mention the type of the variable for example we can simply write message equal to hello world and to execute this cell i will execute i will write i will uh, type shift and enter and that is it you don't have to mention the type of the variable it will be decided in the runtime so the type of the variable is decided in the runtime so if we take a look at uh, let me try to print it as well so if we take a look at the type of the variable by writing type of message it says it is a type of string so basically the type of the variable gets decided in the runtime now let's do one more thing we will simply reassign this variable with a number so what i'm trying to say is i'll write message equal to 5 okay i'm just trying to reassign the value uh, initially it was a string now I'm trying to reassign with an integer let me try to execute it executed without any errors so let us check the type of the variable now by typing type of message so you can see it is of the type integer let us try to do the same thing in java okay we have declared string message equal to hello world and in the next line let me try to write message equal to phi and click on execute basically you get an error which basically means that you know uh, you cannot assign reassign the variable with you know uh, an integer so we cannot assign number to a string variable but with dynamically typed languages 
we can reassign the variable with whatever data type you wish to. This property of dynamically typed language has both advantages and disadvantages depending on different scenarios. But for now, I hope that you guys understand what, what uh, this dynamically typed language means. And also to, you know, uh, if you want to delete a variable from memory, you can simply type del space the variable name. So I'll write del space message and execute this. Now if I try to print the message, the error says, uh, you know, uh, not defined, which basically means that it is not available or it is deleted from the memory.